longer. There's just nowhere for girls to go. Well, you got girls here? Yeah? Young girls? Children. The amount of medication we have to use is worrying. Sometimes I wonder what we're running here, a prison or a hospital. Perhaps mind can help. Mind? National Association for Mental Health. We should all be on the same side. All of us. <laughs> Everyone's overworked. Doctors, staff. You must meet Christine. What's your name, then? Christine. How old are you, Christine? Fourteen. How long have you been here? Five months. Well, how long are you in for? Life. You're bullshitting me. I don't believe that. People at your age just don't get sentenced to life. You must they do. She didn't kill anyone. Then what did she do? She burnt down some curtains. I don't believe you. Yeah, well, they didn't like it at Holloway either. I don't think they did. That's why they took me there. She was sedated, of course. Very, very heavily. And presumably, all she was doing all day long was lying on that bloody mattress. Don't get upset. I am upset. Fire damage worth 250 and they give her life. Start a new file. Christine Andrews. Holloway. Uh, it's going to be a thick one. I don't want you making mountains out of molehills again, Christine. It doesn't mean life. It says life. I can read. I'm quite a good reader. It's shorthand. It only means till the Home Secretary thinks you're well enough to be out. Will he come and see me? No, he's much too busy. People will advise him. What sort of people? People who know you. Doctors, nurses. You can earn your way out, Christine, with good behaviour. They just pay you to say that kind of thing. I'm getting fat again. Eat it up, it's good for you. I walked all the way here with a full plate and I'll walk all the way back with an empty one, Christine. Into care at 12 for what's euphemistically called attention-seeking behaviour in the direction of sexual adventure. IQ of 80. Classified sub normal. What are they talking about? The reading was above average then. I don't suppose it's up to much now. Oh, look at that. That's what they started with. Look at this file. 
eight different institutions in one year. A behavior getting worse all the time. Psychiatric report. Social workers report. Bizarre behavior. Psychiatric report suggests no clinical mental illness. I think what characterizes this girl's experience is that nobody really wants her. Taste like bubble gum. Come on, drink it down. Am I going somewhere? Yes. Where? Nowhere you'd know. A place called Woodvale. It's a special hospital. Special like Broadmoor? Well, yes. Not like Risley. No, they use the chemical cosh at Woodvale. Do you mean? Nothing. You'll be all right at Woodvale, so long as you behave yourself. Well, it's the same anywhere, isn't it? Nowhere's nice if you don't behave yourself. Now get yourself dressed. At Risley, when they put my hip strips out, I had a kind of canvas dress. It's a real hard, stiff canvas. Bloody awful, that. I expect you've done something wrong. I can't remember. Can you remember things? Of course. You don't take as many pills as I do. I think I'd be better off dead. Of course not. Neither do I. What you I hit, were it? You got me in here. No, it was prison officer ward trying to give you an injection. I remember that. I didn't want an injection there. You have to have them, Christine. She all right? I haven't seen her about. I'd like to say I was sorry. I kept saying I was sorry at the time, but nobody listened. She's left. Caught stealing, was she? If you can't behave yourself, Christine, you have to be on your own. It's for your own safety and that of others. It'll be the same at Wood Vale. But if you behave, you can be with the others. They've moved it at Wood Vale. What's that, a hospital? Yeah. Is she ill? Anyone's been on major tranquilizer since the age of 11, and eating institution foods, never in the best of health. Then a hospital's a good idea. It used to be called a hospital for the criminally insane. The nurses belong to the Prison Officers Association. They still wear prison uniform. But why, if she's not a criminal? Some very dangerous people in the world. But not Christine. No. No, she never harmed anyone. Except possibly herself. The trouble is, although the judge said life, he didn't actually mean life. Well, then that's all right. Yeah. Well, I don't expect anybody's passed the message on. Even the Home Office said that if she does get out of Woodvale, she could have to return to a penal institution and finish her sentence. So why not just leave her where she is? Well, what's it like? Locks and bars? Not as many as some places. Lock up your mind instead of your body. Looks better for the visitors.
Yes. Yes, she was in a strip cell there. Anne Risley. Trouble, I'm afraid. Never mind. We'll cope. <sighs> Tegretol, 100 milligrams TDS. And Largactin. Better get the Largactin in at once. Visit her. They want to make things worse for her. I mean, I don't want to get her out, sir. If I can't get her out, I won't be too popular in Woodvale either. Now I've got a foot in the door, you know, I don't want to slam it. But why should it? They've got their point of view, right? I mean, nutters play possum. They, they get let out and then they poison someone or act someone's head off and then, well, the press goes to town, quite rightly. Surely they'll trust your judgment. They're only human. They don't like people like me stirring things up. Why her and not a hundred others? There's some things you don't forget. This is a toilet room. It has its own toilet, you see? Very nice. You can be in one of these as a privilege if we're pleased with you and you're doing well. Any naughtiness, and back you go. Really naughty, and we have strip cells here like anywhere else. You're like Joan Flaherty in number three. Yes, I think she'd make a good friend for you. She's a nice, friendly, good girl. A low grade like you, but you'd never know it. Now remember, it's a privilege to have a toilet room and not a right. And we don't want to get depressed. We need to keep cheerful. We're going to be in here a long time. 
was she in for? The stone. You know better than to ask a thing like that. Everyone's in for something after all. You don't get to wood there for nothing. But I'll tell you, because if I don't, someone else will. She murdered her baby's father. She didn't. She did. Oh, I'd never do a thing like that. You don't have a baby, Christine, do you? So how could you? Smoke, do you? Oh, yeah. You can get cancer, you know. It's very bad for your lungs. And I'm supposed to be looking after you. But I'll see what I can do. If you behave yourself, I'll see you get pocket money. You can get them from canteen. No shouting, no screaming, no breaking things up. And we don't allow slashing in here. Your arms are in a nasty state. Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Well, you ought to be. Why do you do things like that? Everybody does it. Not here, they don't. If you bleed, you're alive. If you bleed too much, you're dead, my girl. Was I mean I to? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's not your fault. I forget things. Does that mean I'm mental? I shouldn't think so. Bit nutty, I expect. Like me. It's them pills. They make you forget. What do they give you? Um... I'm on a little redden, ipramine, integritol, and my night tablets as spa something. It's like a little greenish, bluish pill. I like chewing it. It's licorice. It gets between my teeth. I like that. Sparring. Make the best of things, don't you? Try to. Look on bright side. I suppose they know what they're doing, they're the experts. Well, I don't think that your story should be left to the experts. I'd like you to tell it to me. What's the matter? You're not going to get me out. Why come to that? I don't want to get out. I want to die here. <laughs> I'm here for life and that stuff.
What do we say to cause that? We don't want our best patients unsettled, do we? It's bad enough with families, let alone total strangers from London. Sorry about that. What is it all about? You shouldn't have done that. Now Nurse Ride is seeing me crying, she'll write it down. Depressed and unsettled. It isn't daft to cry. They think it is. It was banging and crashing too. Let's get out. But I can't get out. You might. I'm with them in life. I must have done something bad. I've got to settle. We'll see. Will you talk to me about what happened? I can only tell you what happened. The staff are not all bad in here. I know they're not. No. Not all of them. Not working. Got better things to do, have we? The ends are stiff. Oh. Now I've heard them all. It's them pills. They make me hands stiff. Right. Side effects now, is it? I take them, don't I? You don't. Just you get back to work and settle down, Christine. Get too many smart visitors, that's your trouble. Can I go to the toilet? You've just been, I saw you. I want to go again. Looks like we'll have to cut down your breakfast tea at this rate. Change my mind. I'm not going. Don't know what it is about you people in here. Never met a lot of more active bladders. Fuck cow. Why don't you punch her head in? I would if she went on at me like that. No. We'll take it a little at a time. I know it's painful. Scabby Christie. Hey, Tranny, come to play with me. Get off me, Scabby, stupid, sticky. They were all right until I was seven. I mean, well, they were really quite nice. But then my dad lost his job, and my mum used to fight about money, I suppose. And me. Then I got scabs. Scabs? Christine, stop doing that, for heaven's sake. You only get scars on your arms. Have you got your book open? No? Page 45. If you can count that far. Will you fucking stop that? Christine, come out here. I will not have swearing. You can behave as you like in your own home, but not in my class. With your back to us, Christine. Nobody wants to see your scabs, I'm sure. Get out of here! Get out of here! 
disruptive and aggressive little girl, Christine. If you go on like this, you'll get yourself into real trouble. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, please. Have you anything to say? This report goes with you wherever you go throughout your school life. Perhaps your mother will come and see me. Haven't I got enough troubles? We aren't you starting, you great dunce. What kind of a girl are you? Just you sit there and listen to what I've got to say. And then get to bed. Without your tea. Leave it alone. Oh, the day you bring some money in this house is the day you'll be allowed to open your mouth. It's a madhouse. I blame you for everything that's gone wrong with that child. You'll give yourself a heart attack the way you go off. It must have hurt, being called names like that. Yeah, and being called thick and that. You didn't cry, though? No. I beat them up. Well, I were bigger than them. Grew faster, too. Not that that did me much good. you out of there until you've said you're sorry. I'm wounded somehow. I'm dying. Let me down. You stupid great thing. You're far too young for that. Who ever heard of it is somebody so young? It's not natural. Oh, perhaps you'll stop with your bed now. Well, go on. Go to the bathroom. But I didn't stop wet in bed. I drove her mad. I loved me, ma'am, and she loved me, but I couldn't help it. And she was so clean about everything, she couldn't stand it. I would wait till she was out of house, then I would wash sheets myself. Missed a lot of school. Hmm. Couldn't go on, <laughs> you chicken. Have another. Have another. I suppose. Getting drunk in my lunch hour. Doing all that right in front of other people. But I only did it the once. Honest. I kept off the beer after that. She reported me to Ed Mistress and that was that. It was that psychiatrist told me all about sex. I mean, I didn't know. You're joking. I didn't. But I don't know what to do with her, Dr. Horace. She shouts, she breaks things up. You've been giving the pills? Oh, yes. Well, they should help. I tell her to stay in, she goes out. I tell her to go out, she stays in and gets on everybody's nerves. You think she's going with boys? Yes, I do. See what I mean? Yes, I do, Mrs. Andrews. I think you're right. I believe in listening carefully to what mothers say. They always have an instinct about their own children. Christine, why did you do that? I'm sorry. No, I asked, why did you do that? I said I was sorry, didn't I? 
She just says that. She doesn't mean it. No, I want a reason. A because. Because she was getting on my nerves. Because she's wearing my tights. She's a nice girl. She's always running off. She stayed out all night once. She was found to be a severely disturbed and emotionally immature adolescent with a low stress tolerance. Her behavior pattern was at all times typified by outbursts of aggression and violence, frequently with no apparent cause. She vented her aggression on both people and things, seldom if ever expressing regret for her behavior, but always being able to voice what was to her an adequate reason for her acts. Her reasons were never acceptable on the basis of any moral standard. I'll tell you what you are. You're a little slut. You're a little... Oh, I... I wash my hands of you. And so does your school. And you're certain you have no room for her? But you are the right place for Christine. I'm convinced of it. I'm sure she'd do very well with you. Yes, I know you're a subnormality hospital. That's why I'm ringing you. But she's only a very little way above subnormal. I see. Oh, well, I suppose I'll just have to accept that. Find the number of Railton Lodge. It's a Catholic girl's home. They might just manage to get some sense of right and wrong into her. Until we place her, her mother will just have to cope. We can't send her back to an ordinary school, which isn't fair on the other pupils. And she has to be educated somehow, according to the law of the land. Kept me in my nighty so I wouldn't get out. Yeah. Lock anyone up when they try to escape. You must be Christine. We've been looking for you. You'll like Railton Lodge, Christine. You'll like it here. You listen to what Mrs. Holly says, Christine. Hello. You must be Christine. Yes, that's right. Never mind. It's not catching. Christine, it isn't unreasonable to expect you to wash. Pull yourself together. Bitch. Bastard. 
I'll burn this bloody place down and everybody in it, I will! That was a very, very stupid way to behave, Christine. They're kind people doing their best. You won't like Lomond House nearly as much. Aren't I going home? No, you're not. You're going to an assessment centre before you go anywhere. But I want to go home. Home isn't the best place for you. A lot depends on this, Christine. Please, try and behave. Had you had any pills before you did the test? Um, I don't know. Isn't it down on my paper? No. They keep records of everything but that. I can't do it. I won't. That's it. You got. Yes! Yes! Come on. Come on. Yes, sure, I'll do it. I can't help, of course, Mrs. Holly, but Christine is a very aggressive child with a severe personality defect. Well, she lacks insight into her own behaviour and she's no sense of responsibility at all. Well, the tests merely back up my own intuition. My own feeling is that she ought to be at an adolescent psychiatric hospital. Yes, I said psychiatric. She is subnormal, after all. But if there's nowhere for her to go, and well, there isn't, no one's prepared to have her, her reputation goes in advance, as you know. So she'll just have to go home to her mother, which is what she wants. No, but not what her mother wants at all, clearly. How are you? I told him I couldn't cope. She has these pills to take. It's my health that's not good. My nerves are very bad at the moment. Christine's glad to be home, aren't you, Christine? Even better if she'd never been born. James Dean anymore. Oh. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, gosh, it didn't work out at the moment. Tread around with me dad and took pills and overdosed. What was the row about? You? Yeah. I wish my dad would come and see me. Can't afford it fair, he says. And me mum. She's not well. She's got angina. They're not together now. I want to get out of there, Colin. I don't want to grow old in here. You can apply to a mental health review tribunal for release. But you've got to be pretty sure that you will. Because if you apply and fail, well, you can't try again for another two years. I am well. I haven't banged anyone or slashed my arms or sore or anything for ages. My medication's right down. Yeah, I can see that. So perhaps you should apply. Should we get on with a story of your fantastic life? I'm not your nervy. Sort of. Or sometimes. Tense. Breast, I'm all right. 
That's where I went when the men took over to us. You kept absconding. No oh, funny words. Absconding. Where are you going, Chrissy? I'm just taking Stevie for a walk. Oh, that's all right. They're all little kids in there. I'm a big. I mean, a fag, you know. That was smoking a lot. Back to my place then. You're having me on. You haven't got a place. Oh, yes, I have. Do you want to see? I don't believe you. Come on, man. Okay, good. Now, come here. You stay here with others. Right? And eat your sweets like a good boy. I'll be back for you. You've got to stay here, right? Right? Yeah. I thought you'd just sit there, see, and wait. I don't know about little kids. I shouldn't have left them, should I? No, you shouldn't. Christine. Well, there's a hostel for psychiatric aftercare patients. Well, it isn't so unsuitable, Mrs. Holly. Christine is subnormal. Yes, I'm all too aware that she's sexually mature. But I don't call her behavior natural. Well, it's not natural for her to abandon a small child the way she did. It was an act of criminal irresponsibility. Criminal. But keep up the medication. Great. I don't know that. I don't know what you are, Christine. All I know is you've been trouble since the day you were born. Where's me, Mum? Why didn't she come? <laughs> Better things to do, hadn't she? You have got fat, Christine. The trousers don't hardly go round you. It's them pills. That must have upset you. It did.
Why'd you do it, Christine? I wanted to be dead, didn't I? I'll see if I can get Dr. Hamble to admit her to a psychiatric hospital. That's all I can do. Yes, I agree, Mrs. Holly. From children's home to a bin in two months is fast progress. Yes, I think it is appropriate. And what options have we got? The reason they put her into care, in the first place, was to keep her off the streets. Well, she's past the age of consent now. She's 16. So she can do what she likes, sexually. So she should get a tribunal. But the medical staff listen to what the nursing staff say, and the man from the ministry can overrule the lot. It's a policy matter, depending on the state of public opinion. Not a medical one. She's there because no one else is prepared to take her. Woodvale couldn't refuse. But that doesn't make it right. You have come to see Christine. One scene never forgot. This is my eighth visit. That's right. advised by me you won't ask her too many questions they tend to upset her then we have to increase her medication which is hardly fair on Christine is it no certainly isn't because she has to feel really settled here doesn't she you feel she needs to be here oh yes of course she wouldn't be safe in the outside world have you seen her arms one mass of scar tissue girls shut up in institutions tend to slash themselves it's unnatural but then so is shutting up girls I think we're the best judge of what Christine can cope with and what she can't. What I really mean to say is, it's hardly fair of raising her hopes of getting out of here when there really isn't any. She used to grow old here, childless and unmarried. Christine, you have a visitor. I told you she'd be upset. Why didn't they just leave her alone, eh? Why didn't they just let her roam the streets and get on with it? She'd have grown out of it. She'd be like anyone else by now. They've done this to her. They've made her like this. The one thing the social services are incapable of doing is nothing. <laughs> I can't stand are the ones that have been here too long. The young ones are all right. Well, I couldn't do their job. I mean, it must get to them, too. Feeling better, Christy? Better than what? No, we're not. Why don't you get on with some work? Because there's no point. Don't be so selfish. 
Think of all the pleasure those teddy bears will bring. Think of the faces of all those little children on Christmas morning when they wake up and find one on their pillow. Yeah. I've been thinking of that. And I'm stuck in here. Well, you've been settling very nicely on the whole. You're going to be here a long time. Right now. Got my tribunal soon. Don't pin any hopes on that, my dear. It's all secretary decides, not you. Oh, you think he's going to come up here in person, do you? An important man all the way from London just to see little you? No. Because if you thought that, you'd be mad. And you're not mad, are you? No. That's why you're in Woodvale. I'm all right now. Anyway, it isn't just the Home Secretary. I suppose your friend from London didn't tell you that. It's the Lord Chancellor's office as well, if you're under life sentence. And they never let anybody out under nine years. Not if it's life, never been known to. Can you say that again? I don't understand. Because you don't get a life sentence for nothing, do you? What was yours? Arson? Endangering life? Nobody wants an arsonist running around, do they? Getting at the matches. So, it's nine years before you begin. I told you what would happen. You should have left her alone. Now she hasn't a hope of getting a tribunal. Well, she never had. I reckon you ought to try and keep your temper tantrums under control. Because you don't improve your chances of getting released by having them. Because you make them say uh, she'd kill herself or get into trouble if she was out of here. I wouldn't. I know you that. You know it. But how can you get them to believe it? And if I run outside, I wouldn't have mental, would I? That normal. This is a place for acting mental. I'm sorry. You shouldn't apologise to me for crying. I think it's a good thing that you do cry now and again. If you didn't cry in a situation like this, well, then you would be mental. If you don't cry, they just write it down and give you more bills. I know. No. The doctors don't want me to get out. They believe in keeping people in. I'm making me laugh. No, you're not. I don't want to be an old lady in here. I want to get married and everything. Sure you do. Look, I want you to tell me very carefully what happened when you got life? And how you got life? And why? It's written down. Their story, not yours. Get out. Get it old. I hate the sight of a minute or two. I'll try and get it sorted out, Christine. First, help me, will you? 
Don't bang people. Don't cut yourself. And keep cool. Yeah. See how she's got no teeth. She was to bang people. So she said that's why they took her teeth out. Christine, the way they see it, on the 11th of June, 1975, you set fire to the curtains of the Blackburn Intensive Care Unit, damaging the building and endangering the lives of the others. I was down, depressed. She'd been telling me off. Didn't matter what I did, I was never right. I wanted to die. Why do they say endangering lives? They wouldn't have died. Arson, contrary to section 1, 1 and 3 of the Criminal Damage Act 1971. Damaged by fire, a building in the county of Merseyside, intending to damage such property. Intending by the same damage to endanger the life of me, Colleen Jacobs and others. Damage to the value of 250 pounds. It was nine o'clock at night. Yes, I called the fire brigade. I wouldn't have seen the fire so early if I hadn't chanced to be discussing something with a girl who hadn't been put to bed. At 11.30 the following day, I charged Christine Andrews with the offence of criminal damage by fire. And she replied, I'm sorry. Christine Andrews, 14 years, born 3rd of the 10th, 60. A schoolgirl to go to trial for arson. Remanded in custody, Risley. No one asked you anything? No one let you speak? No. No.
Don't get too near her, love. She's got scabs. I were frightened. Grizzly Risley, they call it. People hang themselves at Risley. There were a coloured woman in a dressing gown, and she was on the books, and she didn't have an ST on. Oh, and they were all coming on to her. And I wanted to watch Top at Pops, and policemen said they'd be ready for Top at Pops. And when I got there, they just examined me and everything. And then I had a bath and they checked my clothes and everything. And then I put a pair of pyjamas on and they put me in a cell. A padded cell. Couldn't even watch Top of Pops. What was it like? I couldn't remember. But it was soft and squidgy. And everything sounded funny. All on your own? Yeah. How long were you locked in the cell? Half past three, four in the afternoon, till about seven or eight next day. Then you slopped out in the morning? Then this girl told me to shout for officer and bang at night, because that's what they all did. <coughs> Whenever I think of Risley, I think of being in that cell. I really felt I was mad. There. What were the injections? Praldehyde. Makes you feel awful. I had Praldehyde seven nights. So then they just left you locked in the room, did they? All day? Yeah. Well, it must have fed you. They take you down for a bath every seven days. I couldn't walk because those injections hurt. Any other medicines? Yellow, thick medicine. Like that tin custard, stirry custard. And then it was time for your trial? Couldn't look down on benches. I couldn't look down, I couldn't hardly sit down on benches. Why? Because I was an empty mess. Because at needles. Is your name Christine Andrews? Yeah. You're indicted and the charge against you is one of damaging property with intent. As to whether the lives of the occupants therein would be thereby endangered. How say you, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty. On count two, you were charged with arson contrary to section 11, section 13 of the Criminal Damage Act. How say you, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Guilty. I proceed straight away to the facts of the matter. They are these, Your Honor. The incident out of which the offense of arson arose took place on Wednesday, the 11th of June of this year. All through that trial, you only spoke three times. That's right. And then I left the court, and they went on. Evening, she was talking to one of the girls in her room when she saw that the curtains in a nearby room were blazing. She immediately sounded the fire bell, looked into the room through the door, and saw that the fittings in the room were on fire. Would you make it plain to persons in the court why Christine Andrews was in the intensive care unit? 
And what precisely an intensive care unit is? Uh, this one is part of the Blackburn Community Home for Children, who I hesitate to use the phrase. It's a place where high security has to be enforced. Yes, Your Honor. Dr. Horace, your qualifications are set out in your report. You are a consultant psychiatrist. I am. Do you agree with the report of the medical officer at Risley Remand Centre? That he can make no psychiatric recommendation and thinks Christine Andrews is mentally fit and can be dealt with as the court deems proper? No, I do not agree. She doesn't need penal action. She needs a period of time in a secure adolescent unit. But there are no possible placements available where she'll be accepted. Not now, with the background of arson. What is the situation with juvenile detention in respect of girls? I understand there are no detention centres for girls, but even so, that's not the answer for Christine. Do you take the view that Christine has been making an effort? I feel Christine has made more progress at Blackburn than she has ever made until this happened. I got that impression from the report. But I think that that place is no longer available to her. Your Honor, I understand that they feel the risk is too great to continue with Christine. Certainly, having regard to the other children. Where is Christine now? She's at Risley, Your Honor. If there is not a place at Sydney Hall Hospital, I shall have to consider making a detention order. That is, ordering her to be detained under the direction of the Secretary of State. It is important to emphasize that this is a young girl who needs assistance rather than punishment. When considering this girl's almost horror of risk, which Mrs. Holly instructs me is one she can understand, the quickest way of getting her out of... In it. that case, detention. But what term of detention? The most helpful term would be one of an indeterminate nature. Life. Unfortunately, it's what that phrasing may mean to Christine. I'm sure she's able to understand that a lot of the terminology in this case is lawyers' talk rather than reality. Christine Andrews, you have pleaded guilty to a charge of arson. The circumstances have been explained to me. I think the best course is to put you in the hands of the Home Secretary, who can then see where best to place you with the object of restoring you to a normal life as soon as possible. That is, you shall be liable to be detained in such a place and on such conditions for the period of your life. Life? Now, that doesn't mean what it says. It merely means until you, by your own efforts, and with the help of the institution you may go to, become fit to become a normal member of the community. Life? That is the order. You shall be detained in that way. And then you went back to Risley? Yeah. 
The defendant now has seen the doctor, and the report is in front of your honor. What he has said, and with some vigor, is that Risley is not the right place for her, and she will not get better while she is there. But it is not contemplated that she should remain at Risley forever. There are no institutions to take her, Your Honor. Inevitably, I have to reconfirm the order I made in the first place. I shall urge the authorities to move her as soon as possible from Risley. Holloway? Holloway. I don't want to be old in here. I haven't even started my life. I know. How much sugars you want? None. It's lemon. I've lost two stone. Ravita and cabbage. It's all I eat. Now, don't sign it if you don't want to. Well, I'll sign it. If it's going to help. I, Christine Andrews, currently detained in Woodvale Hospital, subject to a juvenile detention order, hereby authorise mind through its legal and welfare rights service to um, to rep represent. Rep represent my interests regarding any matter dealing with my detention. Get out of here, right? Yeah. You can be on telly. And to publicize the circumstances leading to my detention and my treatment since my detention. That been right, has it? No. And I think the world should know. Get out of here and find somewhere to live. Yeah. Get out of here and get a job. If somebody will find me one, well, I can't look out for myself, aren't I? Well, getting a job's going to be difficult. But if you can't find one, then, what, do you get social security? Like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my mum always said I took after him. Um, I hope to find a boyfriend. A nice boyfriend. Get married to him. That's right. One day. Better not leave it too late, though. Don't want to be old in here. Smash it, Christine. 